The original concept for Anamnesis sort sorta of goes back to something my dad said when I was younger. When he saw Star Wars in 1977 as a 17 year old, um, there was this feeling of euphoria because this film came out of nowhere and it was like, it was like nothing he'd ever seen. So he always used to tell me about how he wished he could take that feeling, bottle it up and sell it on the street because he'd make millions. Well, that's a really fascinating idea that you could sort of trade emotions um, because emotions are so specific to, to who you are and how you react to things. Originally, we wanted to do a film about technology that is emotion chips that you can trade between people. When we started to develop the idea of the Neurohacker character, that my co-writer Brady came up with. We sort of put the two together at some point. Brady's original idea for the neurohacker was someone who could steal personalities. So then we thought, well, if emotions, memories, personalities, if we start to look at those as sort of in the same realm, we can put these characters together. And now you have a character that's stealing memories. When you take on a memory, you feel that emotion that that person felt in that moment, and it becomes a part of you.